What's good y'all? We back with another video today. Today we're gonna to be talking about your first camera. A very exciting topic for me today. Now, not only am I gonna be talking about cameras, but I'm also gonna be talking about the best options for the cameras. That's gonna to be towards the end of the video. But if you're a beginner eager to kickstart your journey into photography, and you really need to figure out, man, what is the best camera that I can buy? This is the perfect video for you. Before we discuss all the cameras that I recommend, please do not sleep on that iPhone camera, man. There's a little bonus for you guys. The iPhone camera is really gonna give you guys a really good basis on what you need to do with an actual camera. And I would really explore your iPhone before putting a really big investment on something like a professional camera, even if it's like a hobby or if you're doing it for work. When it comes to selecting your first camera, there's a lot of great options to explore. We're gonna be talking about a couple standout choices for you guys to start off with. That's gonna include entry-level DSLRs, mirrorless, and point-and-shoot cameras. So as we talk about those three, we're also gonna talk about the best options in those different categories. Option one are entry-level DSLRs. In 2023, do not sleep on these DSLRs, man. They are still a amazing option. A great mix of versatility, price, and image quality. And they're a very popular choice for a lot of beginners. A lot of times, these cameras are really user-friendly. Also, they create a very vast amount of lens options. Options in this category include the Canon T7i, the Nikon D3500, and the Sony Alpha A68. These all provide really good, reliable performance and really good user interface. So that's our first option for today, DSLR entry-level cameras. Second up, we have the mirrorless cameras. Personally, I love mirrorless cameras. I'm shooting this on a mirrorless camera. I commonly use a mirrorless camera, and it's the future. They're compact and they're lightweight, and they have honestly like amazing features. And in recent years, a lot of people who are on the DSLR wave are slowly converting over. I love them because the autofocus is amazing across the board for mirrorless cameras, like way, way, way better than entry level DSLRs. Also, they're typically fast, efficient, and just really pack a punch. For new photographers, it's gonna be really good in having a little more assistance. DSLRs are great for experimenting, but mirrorless cameras really hold your hand through the experience and a little harder to mess up on a lot of different things. Only downfall with these cameras is the glass is a little expensive. And I've noticed the lens range for the mirrorless cameras are a little more limited compared to DSLRs just because of how long they've been around. But with a really impressive image quality and autofocus, it's really hard to stay away from the mirrorless cameras. But they both offer their really specific advantages. Just to go over those advantages again, for DSLRs, typically you get a more traditional shooting experience with like an optical viewfinder and a wide range of compatible lenses. Also, DSLRs are a little more tough, most of the time a little more price efficient if you're on more of a budget. Now mirrorless cameras, on the other hand, they're a lot more advantageous in how fast they are and they're really a lot more advanced than DSLR cameras, but both options excel in different categories. So it is extremely essential to really factor in these different things when you're gonna go buy a camera. So things such as personal preference, long-term shooting goals, and really just your style is it makes all the difference, man. The last cameras that we're gonna be going over today is the advanced point and shoot cameras. Now this is a really exciting one just because I know a lot of guys get really excited over these point and shoot cameras. I've used them before, I love them honestly. If portability and convenience are key for you, this is the camera to choose. Just to go over a couple of really great options, you have the Sony Cybershot, specifically the RX100 series. I like the RX106 preferably. Also Fujifilm makes amazing point and shoot cameras. But these cameras really give you a really niche, exceptional image out of camera. And really advanced features in a really compact package. All right, so for the cameras that I recommend, first of all, we have the Nikon D3500. Super affordable, really like basic, really user friendly, easy to get into. Like this camera, it's just efficient on all fronts. If you really need a camera and you just don't have a huge budget, this camera is for you, for real, for real. Just look into it. Next up, we have the Canon R10. I shoot on the Canon R5 and the Canon R6, but the Canon R10 is a new edition of the R series. I love the Canon R10. I think it really condenses a lot of my favorite features from the R series and puts it in a way more affordable package. R10 for me is definitely a go if you need something mirrorless and you want something that is um, just really efficient and kind of like does a job, like effectively and you're not gonna miss a lot of shots of the autofocus, 
the camera is going to be great strata camera as far as like colors and as far as like uh, contrast which is why i shoot on canon preferably definitely that canon r10 is major next up we have the nikon z5 another mirrorless camera um honestly it's just same kind of like same points as the canon r10 just taking a lot of the best features from that z franchise that they have going right now and just condensing it into a way more affordable package great megapixels really great autofocus it's really reliable also it's full frame for entry level that's amazing also you have burst shooting and if you do video that's 4k video on as well with well, excellent ergonomics and a really intuitive user interface definitely i'm loving the z5 lastly easily my favorite camera i would recommend everybody who has kind of like a bigger budget is a sony a7 ii you talk about dependability you talk about just amazing video and photo capabilities this right here is just just blows everything else out for you hybrid shooters out there you're gonna get amazing photos and amazing video all for a really great price and i understand it might be out of some of you guys budget so that's why I kind of am pushing it right here. So if you're kind of in a smaller budget, I'm gonna give you guys a couple more options on cameras that you should also look into. So to go through a couple more options really quickly, you have the Sony A6000, you have the Canon EOS M50 Mark II, you have the Canon EOS Rebel T7i. Those three cameras all, all kind of being really under like $700, which is really affordable for a camera. Um, and kind of leaves you a little more money to go get some other gear. But remember y'all, when considering cameras, think about what you specifically need. Specific needs, budget, and long-term goals should be your question for any camera that you're getting, and it should revolve around that. Your purchase really should revolve around those three things. Research, re-reviews, visit facilities, visit your local camera store and just try it out, man. Go rent it out, spend your money, rent the camera out, figure out if you like it. If your homeboy has the camera, if your homegirl has the camera, Ask them politely, hey, can I borrow your camera? Can I, you know, to use it? They say yes or no. <laughs> Definitely use that camera and go out there and see how you like it. Just take a picture of random things. Buying a camera is not rocket science. That's really the best advice I can give you guys. Get some hands-on experience with a lot of different models and that decision is gonna kind of find you over time. But I hope this has helped you gain insights into what you guys should be looking into and what cameras you guys should be looking into buying. Hope it brings you a lot of value. Um, definitely, if you love the video, leave a like, leave a comment. It helps me out tremendously, you guys don't even know. And sub to the channel for a lot more tips on photography and recommendations for your photography business. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.